Okay, today we're going to show you how to replace a coolant uh, temperature sensor. Okay, um, we are getting a, uh, a code of PO128 from our diagnostic tool. So, so uh, P0128 is usually um, the um, coolant temperature sensor. That means you need to replace it. To locate it, follow your hose, your coolant hose, and it is, um, hold on, let me just brighten this up so you can see a little bit. It is right there. This one right here. Okay, let me zoom in, in a little bit more. That one right there. Okay, so we're going to remove this and replace it. We do have our replacement, which I had ordered from eBay. The part is right here. Okay, so we're going to do that today. Okay, so what you need to do is just kind of like slide this out, wiggle it a little bit. And there you go. Alright, and now we're going to need a socket wrench to remove this. Okay. Okay, what we're going to need is a 19 millimeter socket wrench. Okay, to remove that. I'm going to put this down here. There you go. All right. Okay. All right, so we're going to try to break it loose using a socket wrench with an extension. All right, this is uh, a 19 millimeter. Here we go. There, we broke it. Now, it unscrews after that and probably I could do it by hand so I don't drop it in there take this out and I'm just gonna use my hand to unscrew it you see it here look see that's why we were getting a code I got it see because see how it's broken and it's brittle and that needs to be replaced. Okay, get my replacement. Here's the replacement. Okay, it's brand new. And uh, I got it from eBay. So we're gonna put this in there and hand tight it first. Hand tight it. All right clockwise to tighten okay there you go alright and now we use uh, a deep socket 19 millimeter to tighten up okay Alright, just tighten it just a little bit. There you go. And we're done. Okay? Yay! And now I am going to put the connector back. Here, come here. See me? After we install that, put the connector back in place. And that's fitting. there now it's back in place all right so now our coolant temperature sensor had been replaced and that's how you do it okay um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you again next time okay nice